All right, you already know what it's about. Radical persuasion. We're breaking down the copywriting and psychology secrets and great offers. Today I'm going to go over a uh, Stephen Gundry, Dr. Stephen Gundry uh, email here, which uh, he is partnered uh, with uh, Golden Hippo, which is one of the most well-known and uh, successful direct response uh, marketing companies in the world. So I'm going to break down uh, this email I got from them, which uh, the subject line is special report your gut. All right. So again, radical persuasion. Um, quick about me, I'm a direct response copywriter and growth strategist. I help entrepreneurial businesses in info, health, tech, and finance using especially emails, landing pages, and sales letters of ESLs. So if you want to learn about working with me or about getting a free copywriting video training, go ahead and visit my website and I'll hook it up. All right, let's dive into this one. Um, so, uh, got this email, special report your gut. So people like free stuff and a special report, it doesn't really even say free in here. Um, I don't even know if it, it is free, it, I'm assuming. Yeah, click here to watch now. Um, yeah, watch this report, so it's, a, it's like a video. Um, and your gut. Um, so one of the most important words in all of copywriting is the word you. Because whenever you're writing something significant, like an email or a, you know a landing page, a sales letter, if you want people to pay attention, speaking directly, like one-on-one, -on -one, uh, is a, is the best way to uh, make it conversational, uh, engage people, and to get them to continue reading. So, um, at the top here, you got this photo, Dr. Gundry here, Dr. Stephen Gundry, Center for Restorative Medicine founder, Gundry, MD, and then uh, a logo here. So, um, you know, there's like lots of debate of whether or not to use photos and in, in emails. Um, but I think they're playing to their strengths here, um, especially since, you know, some brands, they're just a brand and they don't have a face of the company. But since Dr. Gundry, you know, he puts a stamp of approval on other products, it's his brand, it's his, um, it's his, you know, uh, personality. Um, I think they're playing to their strengths here by showing that it's a real person behind the company. Um, they've got, you know, he's a real doctor and, um, you know, maybe this little um, health looking logo adds a, you know, a little bit of credibility as well. So, um, starts off, uh, M. <laughs> so I didn't, I didn't type my full name in when they, uh, when I, when I opted in, but that should be Michael. So Michael, I want you to see something right now. It's an eye opening special report. I spent months researching and putting it together. It deals with the truth about your gut and what's damaging it and how this is silently harming all aspects of your health and happiness. These factors include your digestion, metabolism, weight, skin health, heart health, brain health, moods, heck, even your breath. Cool, so let's just talk about this little section right here. So I want you to see something right now, this is cool. Um, it's, you know, it's, it's very personal. It's like, hey, check this out. Um, this is just me, Dr. Gundry, talking to you one-on-one, -on -one, Michael. I got something to show you. It's an eye-opening report, and I spent months researching it and putting it together. So this is this is um, you know drawing in the interest and also uh, building up the value in in the reader's mind. Um, if someone spends a lot of time putting something together, uh, I mean, although like time and value don't necessarily they're not really you know they don't have to be like that. But if someone does spend a lot of time on something automatically there's an there's an assumption that it's valuable so they add that that this little part in here just to say hey this is this is going to be something that's that's big um, it deals with the truth about your gut and what's damaging it and how it's silently harmoning all aspects of your health and happiness so this is like the most general and most basic um, template that I've come across is just like an infomercial and that's Problem, agitation, solution, right? Your gut hurts or is being damaged. Here are all the ways it's being damaged. So that's the problem. Here are all the ways it's being damaged. That's the agitation. It's like really, you know, building up emotions. But here's the solution. So when you want to start with a pitch, whether it's an email or something else, starting with the pain is always a, a, a good way to flow through that, that basic template. Um, 
because people won't necessarily act unless they uh, feel that that you know they're or if they're in pain and and if they acknowledge that pain they'll be much more likely to move forward um, and then here's interesting so digestion metabolism weight skin health heart health brain health moods heck even your breath so I want to go through one of these one by one because there's a reason that they're listed out and they're not just listed out just for fun um, because each thing could be touching on a different type of person and a different type of problem so digestion so this might be speaking to somebody who just yeah they've got stomach problems they're literally in pain with their digestion uh, maybe day in and day out they, they take you know whatever meds to to, to uh, get that pain away um, and they might be seeing this and like, wow, yeah, okay, I, you know, I do have problems with that. And metabolism, this might be speaking to people who, you know, metabolism weight and weight, let's put these both in the same category. So now you're talking to the person who maybe they don't have any problems with their digestion, quote unquote, like they've, like they, they don't really have much pain, they don't have much blockages, whatever they're, you know, let's not get too nasty, but you know, maybe they don't go to the bathroom, you know, like they go pretty normally, but they're overweight. Um, this is talking to that person. It's saying, hey, this is this is potentially a weight loss type of offer. And it doesn't say weight loss um, specifically. I don't know if it says it at the bottom here, but but that's talking to some a different person. Um, skin health, and then that's, you know, let's be honest, that's talking to the female market. It's talking to people who are, maybe they've got um, acne or they're worried about wrinkles and getting older. Um, Maybe they're, uh, yeah, I think those are, those are some of the, the main ones. So that could, that could be talking to women who are, are a little bit worried about, um, you know, aging. And so it's not just saying, oh, this is for your skin health. This is basically saying that, like, hey, this, what, what's in this report, which is the main, you know, call to action here in this email, uh, potentially is going to make you look younger, which then translates to, um, you know, more attention, um, higher chances of mating <laughs> and, uh, and other benefits that women enjoy. And then heart health and brain health. So these are kind of, these might be talking, then this might be wrapping in men and women that are a little bit more um, in that demographic to start worrying about this thing. Um, you know, maybe it's uh, 40s and 50s, maybe even 30s um, when people start to kind of really consider like, you know, maybe they've got family members that have had heart problems or, or uh, like Alzheimer's or things like that. And they're looking to kind of get in that um, in, in the mindset of, of setting themselves up for a longer, health, healthier life than maybe other people they've known. And then moods, you know, talking about um, uh, later on in the email, they talk about how it's, you know, it's like emotional. <coughs> and it, <clears throat> by the way, this whole time, you know, the, the subject line is your gut. So they need to connect all these things to the gut, um, which is interesting. Because, you know, like if you think, oh, the, what mood I'm in or my heart health or my, um, you know, my skin health, I wouldn't think that these things are, you know, naturally come from the gut or what I'm eating. Um, so they need to connect these things in order so that the p different types of people that, that um, resonate with these different types of uh, problems will be interested. And then heck, even your breath. So this is great. So the, the last one, it has, it's not really like a, like a health thing as you know these things are more like health related this one plays a little bit more on you know embarrassment or uh, you know fear of embarrassment um, you know if you've ever met someone who has bad breath um, you know it's there's not many people who are brave enough to like tell that person and say hey by the way you should you know you know heads up your breath is uh, not great right now right so it's a lot of times like people might read this and they'll be like oh wait maybe my breath is you know uh, a problem um, or or if it's not a, if they don't have that thought then they're thinking like oh wow like you know this this report could save me embarrassment is, is what the subconscious messaging is here cool so then boom I don't just give you the bad news though and exactly so right at this point after the breath we're starting to transition in uh, from problem agitation into the more uh, solution part of the Part of the offer so you know problem agitation that could be like the entire you know first half sometimes of, of emails or, or things like that but 
you don't want to leave people too much in that pain. You want to pull them out right away, you know, right as soon as they start to really feel like, ooh, yeah, you know, I do have problems with my weight or my skin could be more healthy. Boom, pull them out and, and bring them back to the, the subject at hand, which is the report. So you see in this report, I do two things. One, I reveal the four popular health foods that are ruining your gut as we speak. And two, I show you one technique that you should be using every day to protect and restore your gut. Even this, even this two little bullet point thing here is a microcosm of the problem agitation solution. So problems first. What are the health foods that are ruining your gut? And this is also um, a, a myth-busting thing or a, um, uh, a counterintuitive uh, thing. Um, people uh, really pay attention when things are counterintuitive. So if you tell them, um, as Dr. Gundry does with a lot of their promos uh, with Golden Hippo, he says that basically, you know, a lot of things that you think are healthy, like tomatoes, uh, or even almonds, these are not as healthy, uh, healthy as you think. And if you're watching this and you're now thinking like, wait, seriously, then, you know, then it's, wor it's working. Um, and, uh, and they explain why. But, but um, so it's using a counterintuitive thing to tell people that, are, are, that they're in pain and it's ruining your gut as we speak right now. This is a problem right now. This is urgent. And this is ruining your gut. So adding a little bit of sense of urgency. Um, and I show you one technique that, that can protect and restore your gut. So it's saying your gut is being ruined right now, but don't worry. We're going to protect it. And guess what? We're going to even restore it. Um, and then just to note visually, notice how every, every line is either one or two lines. They don't, they don't do too much like down here a little bit, but you know, making things very readable and very uh, not intimidating to read. People don't want to read big paragraphs. So keeping things really conversational and really um, chopped up and in, in bite-sized pieces um, is a good way to get people to keep reading. Otherwise, they'll just bounce and check out. So when you use this powerful technique properly, all facets of your health begin to fall back into place. Believe me, I've been using the technique myself for years, and it works like clockwork. And this, is the only, and this is only the tip of the iceberg, by the way. You're going to discover a lot more from this report. Click here to watch the special report now. So this is great because I think some people, they think like, can I click on this? Yeah, I can. I don't know if that goes to the landing page or not. Let's see. No, it just expands it. Um, I think some people, when they send an email, like, especially if it's a long email, they're going to wrongly assume that everyone is going to scroll to the very bottom. Um, so if someone... If this little um, section did its job correctly, then uh, people will be feeling enough emotions or enough curiosity um, to solve their problems if they, if they landed in one of these categories um, to just click right away. So including different calls to action and different links to be able to hop over to the offer uh, faster than just needing to do it all the way at the bottom you'll notice there's one at the very bottom, uh, one like two thirds of the way down and one one third of the way down. Um, you don't wanna lose those people, especially to just get bored. So people just might be too lazy and they're like, I don't, I don't, I don't you know, it doesn't matter to me. Um, so click here to watch the special report now, all right? And one tip I just heard recently from Ian Stanley is if, if you write a subject line and you include words in the subject line like special report, then the call to action, you can include the same words because if someone was interested enough to click on the email, then they're gonna be interested enough to click through if it's the same words, you know? So if they were initially interested in a special report, then let them click on something that says special report. So um, they don't do it for all of them. Um, they do it for the very first one, but something to think about. So. Um, now, let me explain something about the video you're about to watch. So what he's doing here is like overcoming an objection because if someone doesn't click on the report then and they're still reading, then there's a reason. So he's saying like, okay, at this point, the reader's like, I didn't, I wasn't interested enough to click on this link right away, but I'm still kind of curious and you're still holding my attention. So someone might be like, well, what's going to be in the report? What's, you know, why should I watch this? I, I don't want to click to another website. What's, what's the deal? 
So he's kind of trying to object, address that. Uh, let me explain. So because it took months to put this presentation together, I had to start creating the slides way back in January. That's why you may notice some of the early slides men mentioning my soon-to-be-released book, which is now a New York Times bestseller. So again, this is building up the value and uh, building up credibility as well. Um, and also with a little smiley face, adding a little bit of you know personal touch. Um, if something is a you know New York Times bestseller, that's a, a brand and a, uh, um, a media outlet that everyone recognizes, and that uh, besides him being a doctor, which is like you know the <laughs> the holy grail of someone having credibility, like someone puts on a white coat, all of a sudden everyone listens to every single word they say. Uh, it's just this magic persuasion thing that just happens. Um, mostly because, you know, a lot of times listening to a doctor, whether it's, you know, right or wrong, people associate with it being, you know, about their health, about a life and death situation. But adding, adding this is just compounding the credibility. Um, rest assured, I'm going to be updating little things like that in the near future. However, I'm sending the video to you before I do that because the health information is current and urgent. So this is great. He's there. You know, on the back end, like on the business side, like they're probably just like, let's get this out there. We recorded it. Maybe there's like even video of Dr. Gundry in this video, um, like him live on camera, not live, but but on camera. Um, that's that's just a guess. Like like they could be, you know, it could be something that's not as easy to re-record just like that. Um, but anyways, that, like they're also leveraging this and explaining some things that might seem incongruent. Um, Maybe they're just using this because it's like an older video that they want to reuse. Um, but either way, they're, they're saying the reason is because it's current and urgent. So again, creating a sense of urgency um, that this is really going to affect your health. And if you don't act, you know, we're getting this in front of you because we think it's that urgent. Um, you know, I'm Dr. Gundry. I'm the doctor. Like, hey, check this out. So click here to educate and protect yourself now. So they try another call to action here, and I'm sure they're testing which one people click on more. Um, but this one has nothing to do with a special report. It's about educating and protecting yourself. So now you're equating, you're equating looking at this special report with educating and protecting yourself. Who doesn't want to educate themselves? Who doesn't want to protect themselves? Right? You know, the, people might have, you know, a certain objection of just straight up laziness that they don't want to educate themselves. But there's no, like, objecting to the idea that that's a bad thing. So, then they, they do that second call to action and, and twist it a little bit to give a to give another um, another angle on it that you know some people might uh, click when the first one didn't catch their attention this one might uh, catch their attention uh, uh, in a in a better way. By the way, some of the things I cover and so again now like now someone's still reading right so they, they just want to know more um, before they decide to click. And you might think like oh. Someone clicking, it's not a big deal. Like they, they don't really, you know, why do I have to go to so much trouble to convince someone to click on this link? Like click-through rates are way lower than you expect, you know. Like they, they could be single-digit percentage points um, and often are. So, you know, putting in this extra effort to make sure people click is um, usually a good, good idea. So by the way, some of the things I cover in the first few minutes are things that you may have heard me say before. This time, though, I go more in-depth. Um, that's it, uh, overcoming an objection. Um, so someone might, at this point, they're like, okay, this is interesting, but I've watched some of Dr. Gundry's videos before, so I, I don't think this is going to be anything new. So what this is doing, it's overcoming an objection, saying, no, we're going to go in depth on this one, and this is this is new stuff. Um, people, anytime an environment changes, any, anytime someone changes, uh, something around someone changes, um, it catches someone's attention, you know, News, news media, TV, they, they know this. Like news is just like a drug to people. So if something's new, it's just it's just more exciting. It's it's more desirable to check out. In the special report, I take everything I've ever told you about your gut health and put it all together for you. So this, they use a little bit of a bigger font here. Um, maybe this is this is like to catch the attention of someone who's just a scroller. You know, they're just like, okay, what's this about? They're like not even really reading. Maybe they're they're just trying to give people the basic gist um, at this point. 
And I give you a specific plan of action to protect yourself and streamline how your body processes the foods you eat. This is vital information for your digestion, weight, skin, emotional health, and more. Again, touching on potentially different types of people that might be reading this email that, um, you know, and, and, and each of these things bring up different emotions too, you know, d different people, different emotions, you know, digestion, that could be men or women. Um, but the emotion is like, it's not even emotion. It's more like pain. Um, if they have problems with their digestion, um, you know, weight and skin, emotional health. I mean, of course these are important for men too, but like this is, you know, more speaking to the women, um, who have weight problems, skin problems, emotional problems. Um, and, uh, and, and, you know, are willing to like take action and, and the pain, the pain is so much that, you know, weight and skin problems, that, that's not just pain. That's like embarrassment. Um, that's like lack of, you know, pot potentially, um, you know, affecting their confidence, affecting their ability to, you know, um, find a, uh, boyfriend or a girlfriend, um, and emotional health, you know, if someone's feels like they're all over the place, you know, this one's a hard, that's a hard one. Emotional health. Um, I'm trying to think, like, because I, you know, part of what they what they do in a lot of their offers is connecting the the concept of gut health with you know overall health, including your mental health. So that's that's one of the the hills they have to climb a little. Uh, it's a little bit of a higher hill to climb, but you know they include it. Um, you can completely change your health, appearance, and how you feel every day, all from the information in this special report. So again, health, appearance, and how you feel every day. So are you unhealthy, ugly, and feel like shit? <laughs> well, this report's gonna, gonna solve that, basically, is, is the subconscious message. And, um, and again, different, different types of people. This could be different types of people. Like someone might think that they look really good and they feel great, but, but they're, you know, they're noticing that they're having some pain or they're, someone might, you know, not have any pain. They might feel pretty good, but they don't like the way they look. You know, that could be a weight thing or whatever. Just get, you know, uh, making sure that they, they don't exclude anybody. Um, yeah. And this isn't, isn't just coming from me, by the way. And I bring in the expertise of brilliant colleagues like Dr. Martin B., uh, widely considered one of the force, foremost experts on your microbiome, the, you know, parentheses, the bacteria that help your body function, right? So you can't assume that someone knows what microbiome means. You got to explain it. Um, Dr. Rachel, the microbiome, the best-selling author of the diet and renowned expert on gut health, all right? So anytime someone writes a book, that adds credibility. Um, anytime someone's a doctor, that adds a lot of credibility. Three different doctors. Uh, a team groundbreaking gut health scientists who are leading the field with astonishing research you need to know about. So this is, you know, um, this is like, you know, creating a, a sense of, oh, this is going to be big. This is exciting. Like, oh, it's astonishing research. I have to know about it. This is happening. It's urgent. It's affecting me. It's going to affect my health, my appearance. I won't be able to find a date. I won't be able to, you know, grow up, grow old with my kids. These are, it's like trying to dredge up these memories not memories, but, um, but feelings, um, and, and saying like, this is urgent. You got to know about this. It's big. I'm bringing all this team together. I spent months putting this together. You got to know, um, all those things build up into a kind of a crescendo. And even this section right here is talking about that credibility compounding, how he's a doctor. He also has a New York times bestselling book. And guess what? He's got all these other people who, um, are also, uh, uh in, uh, on helping him with this, just building up like building up the, the sense of, of credibility um, and trust, you know, and if someone's super skeptical and they, they, they're, uh, they really want to know, like they can Google these people and, and, you know, if they come up on Google, that's going to add some uh, extra, extra uh, credibility. So one of the leading authorities on pre-agricultural nutrition and the new rules of balance eating, again, new, right? Um, authorities. They even say, you know, I mean, this is about building authority, but he, he, now that he's like, like saying this guy's an authority, he's talking about someone else. He's, if he says, I'm an authority, you know, saying I'm an authority, it's, you don't say it straight up. You, you, it's implied through all these credible credibility stacks that you're doing. Um, talking about someone else though, boom, say he's an authority. 
um, leading pioneer in psychobiotics, how your gut bugs affect your brain. Cool. So yeah, again, this section is meant to uh, build up the hype and build up the credibility. And I pulled out all the stops for you in this report. And this information is especially important if you've ever, ever experienced things like constipation, gas, bloating, other digestive issues, uh, broken out dull uh, or age-looking skin, noticeable energy crashes after eating, intense junk food cravings that seem almost impossible to overcome, mood swings at the beginning or end of day, uh, trouble sleeping at night. So this is getting more detailed um, and you know, talking about the actual problems because you know, someone, they might read up here, um, that initial one, digestion, metabolism, weight, but they might not really connect like the actual, like, you know, it's always about what the reader can, is going to get from this. And if they don't make the connection that like improved digestion means no more constipation, let's say, or improved gut health means that I, that I'm going to get rid of my age looking skin, then they're not going to take action. So the, this makes it more real and calls out potential problems that someone could be reading this. And I think they try to be, they try to be uh, as general as they can so they don't exclude someone. So if someone reads something on this, on this um, list and they say, well, that doesn't apply to me, well, then they're gone, right? But notice this, this one word right here, especially. So, so they say, especially if you have this. It's a, it's a way of saying like, um, hey, if you've experienced any of these things, um, this is going to be a great report for you. But if you haven't, you know, it's, they're trying to imply that, well, there's still other things in the report you'll take away from it. So watch this report for your health and happiness. I assure you, you'll walk away armed with new knowledge and a powerful plan of action. Big words, powerful. You are, we are arming you. This is your health, your happiness. Notice there's all the language is about the reader and what the reader is going to get from this. It's always a one-on-one -on -one conversation, always about, um, about, um, uh, about what they're going to get from it. What's in it for me, right? That's what everyone is subconsciously asking themselves anytime they see anything. What is, what's going to be in this for me? So click here to watch now. Looking out for you, even the sign off, it's about you, Dr. S Dr. Stephen Gundry, MD, and then, a, and then a signature, um, right here. So, Doctor's famous for the signatures. You know, it's it's nice, it's classy. Signed it out, um, uh, and it's just a nice touch at the end. So then, two PSs. P.S. If you find the information in this video useful, be sure to share it with friends and family so it can help them too. Um, and then P.P.S. Don't hesitate to email me back and let me know if the report helps you change some things regarding your health for the better. So this first one. Obviously, word of mouth referrals, basically asking for a referral, um, you know, spreading the message. Um, and, um, and you know, if someone really does find it helpful and, and they really like it and, you know, Gundry MD and Golden Hippo, they do their job right, they're going to um, get somebody, you know, excited enough to take action on the product and to share with their friends um, because they enjoyed it so much. And then this one too, this is like basically asking for testimonials. So, you know, if someone uh, responds back and says, hey, thanks so much. Like I got, I got this X result with, you know, reading your report, you know, then they can, they can leverage that into a testimonial. Um, and, uh, and also just notice it says, if the report helps you change some things. So they're, they're, they're also, I think from a business like logistics and customer support operational standpoint, they're not saying, hey, if you enjoyed the report, email me and let me know that it happened. They're putting a little bit of a, an obstacle in the reader's way. They're saying, um, you know, okay, we don't want our customer support team, you know, being hit with an avalanche of emails about the support. You got to take action and then let us know if it helped you change your health, right? So that not only it helps them, you know, not plug up their customer service, but it also um, puts them in a position to um, get testimonials from people who um, who got some good results. So that's it. Um, I mean, there's there's a lot more things I could probably say about this, but those are, those are the basics. And uh, yeah, good example of of you know health offers um, using email to to uh, leverage into your offers and and to um, you know, uh, I mean, I guess the, the one other thing I'll say is, you know, that it's kind of the kind of uh, the elephant in the room, which is that, 
you know, they've prepared free, valuable resources to give to people to incentivize them into, uh, you know, taking part, um, you know, being open to uh, putting them in a, in a mindset, mind frame to learn um, and also setting them up nicely to be uh, to, to receive an offer as well. So, you know, preparing um, assets in your business where you can um, where you can provide something that people will get get from you know get something positive from it whether they decide to take action or not you know immediately or you know maybe they take action three months or a year later um, but something that's good enough that you know they'll, they'll talk about it. Um, so you know the better I mean this is where like the business all comes together I'm, I'm not just talking about the copywriting at this point but you know just something to think about all right that is it um, for this one again if you want to learn about working with me just go ahead and visit michaeljmcgovern.com and, uh, and we can talk. All right, until next time, Radical Persuasion, we're out.